Well, good morning to you all, good morning. Monday, start of a new week. In the background, noise of people cutting firewood. In the foreground, a Christmas tree. Ah, isn't that sweet and that lovely? <laughs> it is lovely. I'm, I'm pleased how much that's grown in the year. And, yeah, it's, it's there because there it will... Yeah, it, it will be visible to passers-by. Not that we have very many at the moment. And my good neighbours, Eric and Pascal, who live in that house there. Uh, what are we doing today? Um, well, we're sort of faffing about a bit, really. We're doing three things at once which means that none of them get very much progress, but all of them get a little bit. Uh, I'm building a model railway. Hmm. I am building a bathroom. Mm. And I'm cutting firewood. All at the same time. Up there, above that floor, there were all manner of strange things in the way of all the things I want to be doing, including a great big pile of window frames. They don't fit anything on this building. My good neighbours tell me that the chap who had this house beforehand, if he saw something going for nothing, he would grab it in case it came in useful one day. And he stacked it all upstairs. And it sort of stayed there. Uh, it wasn't in my way. It is in my way now, but it, it wasn't. But I do want the glass. I want the glass for a, a particular glazing job that I want to try and get done possibly today or tomorrow. And of course, I want the firewood. I want that tonight. When the space is cleared, then I can start thinking about uh, a model railway layout. When the glass is out, I've, I've picked up some beading today and I can get some glazing done. Uh, it's not the right size, but that's not a great problem to a chap with a glass cutter. So, I'm going to have a cup of tea and then take this window frame apart. I've developed a simple technique for it that involves a circular saw. I'm not going to show you how because, frankly, I think it's vaguely dangerous. Uh, I'm very careful, but you know, I, I wouldn't encourage any of you to do what I'm doing. Very easy way to lose a finger or an eye or something. So there we are, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing for a little while this morning. Well, good morning to you, good morning. It is the 8th of December 2020, and I'm sitting on the stairs looking at stuff. Light's not really very good for the camera in this spot, because I've, I've got my work platform overhead uh, which sort of cuts off some of the light now what we're looking at is one of those jobs that you know it uh, it sort of wears you down a bit but there we go it's, it's got to be done this wall was far from perfect so you know I've pulled the electric wire off there and what I want to do before I put conduit on the wall and run the wires neatly and, and, and I'll say correctly I'm sure someone will say well that's not necessarily the only way of doing it uh, I want to get this wall painted and a little bit nicer than it is and as you can see, there are high spots and low spots. And I've put a skim coat of plaster in, but that's not perfect. And it wants 
wants a little bit more um, various sorts of fillers but it's one of those jobs that gives you the opportunity to contemplate I want this to be perfect just as we should all want to be perfect but it's never going to be perfect by my own efforts You know, it, it, it's, it's never going to be. Because it didn't start perfect. You know, you can see by the, by the various patches of plaster and the various bare patches where I've sanded down, this wall was all over the place. But there we are. It's, uh, it's a slow job and it's given me a lot of... Um, opportunity to contemplate which is never a bad thing never a bad thing but yes if you want to finish perfect you have to start perfect and if you don't start perfect which of course this job didn't the best you can do is is sort of push bits of filler in and and and, and try which sort of leads me on to what today is. And I'm going to change locations to talk about that. And we change locations to somewhere where I found other wires that, um, well, <laughs> yeah, uh, other wires that aren't exactly pretty but we are making progress and we're getting getting things tidied up and fitted they all want cleaning every time i do things i create dust the french word is poussière and i seem to be creating that at a faster rate than uh, than the vacuum cleaner le aspirateur uh, can cope with but you know but today, let's not trip over anything. Today is the 8th of December. And some of you will know that the 8th of December is the day that many people around the world commemorate the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Yeah, a lot of you will have heard and will understand about the Immaculate Conception of Christ. But there's a large tradition that says Mary also was immaculately conceived. And this is where my contemplation had been taking me. If you want to make something perfect then you've got to start from a stable, perfect base. And it's, it's teaching in one of the bigger churches in the world that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was without sin. So that's something to think about today. Uh, the commemoration of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Now, that statue, this is funny, I, I sort of put this, this niche together and painted it as close as I could find to what's known as Mary and Blue. And I didn't have anything to put in there. No. And then we went to a sale where someone's moving house and they wanted to get rid of all of the things they no longer will have room for and yeah there was this old statue of the virgin and child and I sort of thought well that's about the right size for that space oh yes all right there's a cat demanding I open a door they do that don't they yes all right in a minute oh yeah 
cat. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so a negotiation was had and a remarkably cheap price was agreed on. And so we acquired a statue to go in the niche. I know some of you will be pleased by that.